beautiful. And oh no! Uh oh, ah! that's rough. Oh no! Oh! A Rolts and two curlier. That is not where you want to be. And a Manaphy. Wait, the Manaphy. Oh, wait, yo, wait, that's even more important. And a Manaphy. Oh, oh no. I'm scared. No, I, I, I'm scared for Angelo too. Does right, that you jinxed it. Okay. okay. Come Gir on. But <laughs> Jirachi start. So Sableye is out of the picture at least. All right, I'll but, let you off. But, <laughs> and the Buddy Poffin. And the Buddy Poffin, yeah. But um, Buddy Poffin, that could just be two things for Christian to pick up with the Radio <laughs> Greninja. <laughs> it's all right. We could be friends still. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, though, no. Not a fantastic prize card set up. I am really quite afraid of that. Um, of that mix. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, we own, we're running... Oh, let's have a look at the rolls. Yeah, no, it's not the one of, it's not the memory skip. So at least that's something. We mm -hmm. do have the memory skip rolls as well, which might help out a little bit in this matchup where most of Christian's Pokemon only have one attack that's mm -hmm. useful. Um, the Greninja really scares me, which is why yeah. I'm very grateful that there are three rolls yes. out right now. There's something else a little bit scary as well. It's not... It's not Oh my god, okay, this actually changes everything. So it's not impossible, but uh, although it is unlikely, Christian can actually get to seven in the Lost Zone turn one because he's playing that Lost Vacuum. So the Cold <sighs> Experiment, free come phase, and a Lost Vacuum will get there, although the hand doesn't look great. I'm not seeing a Cold Res yet. No, so there's gonna be Flower Selecting, and oh, it looks like it's gonna be, a, it's a tough decision. We get I didn't a, see what they were so, going So the, the oh. Roaring Wind goes away, okay. Okay, oh. and we were just talking about how useful that would be in this matchup. Yes, but it looks like wants to take the Artisan instead and it makes uh -huh. sense. You want to try and get as many Pokemon out as possible. So it's going to be Nespel here. I imagine going for that Radiant Greninja straight away, even if you're not attacking with it. It's just extra card draw, right? I, I think considering there's no Manaphy on the board, it's not prized. We need to check the amount of water energy because there is one prized. Yes, so, so two um, left in the deck. Two left in the deck, and it is difficult to get those. So we would either need a couple of... Yeah, I, it doesn't seem... Po uh, it, I'm not going to say it's impossible, because yeah, it's not. It, it's not impossible. It is it's very unlikely, but if you can do it, there's no universe in which you don't do it, because it oh, would no. be such a devastating turn. Absolutely. But I think you're right. You absolutely grab the Greninja here. It gives you card draw. It is a really scary attack for Angelo right now. So I think it's undeniable yeah. as the first nest ball of the game. Now, I might have nest balled before comp phase so that we got the Roaring Moon Artisan choice after that. I don't know if it necessarily would have changed Christian. Christians I, I don't mind, think so. Because I'm, lo I'm looking at the hand and there isn't much more. Yeah, because there's also a chance you just get the Radiant Greninja off of the, off of the uh, uh, Comfey, right? So yeah, I guess that it is just true. I sense. didn't see those two cards. Uh, it looks like, oh, it's another Artisan and a Psychic Energy, it looks like. Oh, I mean, that's not bad. We're not mad at the Artisan, but again, the Artisan is helping yeah. your opponent okay, in this instance. Okay, a bit of thinning. This Pokegear has a good chance of finding something. There's six and seven. Oh, no, no it's a miss. Cold Rest, where are you? Someone the, get him on the phone. I think the Dream might might be dead here. There is one more chance to get it with this Artisan. You can Artisan for a Comfey. And we can go for a Flower yeah. Selecting. But, but again, kind of going back to what you were saying earlier, you could have done this before, thinned out one Comfey from the deck, maybe increase your odds of finding that Chorus. Uh, exactly. But then again, I wasn't sure if Christian wanted to play the Artisan because you are helping Angelo to cons That's a very good point, kind of yeah. build that board state to an even safer mm -hmm. uh, to an even safer stance. We know there's no more Rolts left, so that's okay. Yes. But again, like putting the Fluttermane, Mimikyu, Drifloon, Screamtail. There are yes. so many options that can be uh, utilized with Artisan that actually I kind of feel like that's just given Angelo a bit of a helping hand. Yeah, it, 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 sure, it sure has. But, uh, no. Oh, wait, oh, there was a Corsair hand! Okay. Yay, oh. Comfey! Oh, oh, wait, was that off the fast? I think, oh, that's yeah, what a so find! Yeah, so we got the switch in the Lost Zone. Oh, my goodness. And we got a Call Res, but there is another Call Res in that hand. Probably take that for next turn, and then maybe the Mirage Gate. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm agreeing with that. And then one more, uh, with one more Comfey. I think you've got to go for the... Oh, no, the Super Rod's going. I don't... Oh, that's... No, I, I'm great. always fearful of putting the Super Rod in the Lost Zone. You're, you're, you're actually very close here. You had the Mirage Gate. Ooh. I think there's a Water Energy in hand. I think all you need is one more Comfey Flower Selecting, and you actually get there, because you can Lost Zone your own Artisan with the Lost Vacuum. That is true. Uh, one no. of our Water Energy is in the discard pile from the Concealed Cards, though, so oh. that would need to come back. And that's why getting rid of the Super Rod hurts so much. Yeah, I think he's just giving up on getting it this turn. Uh, that's the thing. That's why yeah. I was really not a big fan of the Super Rod, because I know that, that we obviously, we can see very clearly one Water Energy in the prize cards. There's now one in deck. And that's not going to be enough for a Moonlight Shuriken this turn. Yeah, so still a very big flower selecting from Christian. Finds the Chorus's experiment, Huge. gets himself into the game, but it did just a pass. And this is still fine, to be yeah. fair. And, and 
I, you know, I, I like the iron bundle on bench as well. It's non-threatening. It's fine to be there. Angelo kind of probably won't bother with it too much. And then Christian can detonate that ability whenever he fancies. Yeah, so this is what you were saying earlier, Amy. So a little bit of a worry here now. Angelo can make use of that artisan. Could have even been an argument to go for the lost vacuum on it anyway, just to deny that use from Angelo. But deciding he wants to keep it in play, probably just to get another comfy out next turn or something else, maybe. Yeah, but I love this. The flutter main ma making, oh. uh, making sure that the comfy can't flower select. So now Angelo is going to buy lots of time here by switching the Jirachi with the flutter main, making sure that Christian's going to continue to struggle or at least try to limit Christian putting anything in the lost zone but it isn't going to happen yet as the TM Evo goes on to the Jirachi oh, so might, might be looking to try and jump into some Curlia it looks like a plan B off the back of this Iron O I feel like we could go for Fluttermain or Jirachi here and I'm not too upset at either either tactic oh this doesn't feel great though because if you're like consigning yourself to TM Evolution Curlia has 80 HP you could still very easily get a double knockout on that with, mm. uh, with Radiant Greninja that doesn't feel great no but it still could be a retreat into Fluttermain if they want to try Try and stall and no. stop the lost zone. But no, we're gonna go for the TM Evolution. The technical machine evolution allows you to choose two Pokemon on your bench. Uh, search your deck for the Pokemon that evolves from them and evolve them. Yes. Nice and easy. We've got two Kalia in play now, and we're moving back over to Christian. I imagine Angelo was thinking, you know what, four in the lost zone, not that far off. I reckon Christian's got this regardless. Yeah, fair, fair, well, fair enough in that instance. So we do see Christian does find the Hisuian Heavy Ball. That's a good find. Ooh, He's able comfy. to find that comfy of that. Yeah, one was in the prizes. Oh, I love Hisuian Heavy Ball. I love it just being able to look at my prize cards. Yes. And Look. then I get to take a Pokemon if I want it. Yes. That's, that's does, mad. Does, that's mad. Does only grab basics. So important to know you can't use it to grab any evolutions, but still. Absolutely. Yeah, but, but I still like card. it. I'm a serial forgetter of what, uh, of doing a prize check and then forgetting what the prizes are. So being able to kind of have a look and then maybe note it down for myself, <laughs> love that. It's, it's a lot quicker than like working out by subtraction what's missing, right? Mm -hmm. um, so an early Hisui and Heavy Ball is helpful. Okay, we need to we need to call something out here though. Like Christian's hand is actually really, really, really cracked to get this going. There's a Super Rod in hand, there's another Chorus's experiment. I actually think Christian can put it together. And Christian decided not to take that Comfy, very interestingly to know. Oh, wait, oh yeah, that's, oh, that's true. Yeah, and we've gone for the Chorus, here we are. Oh, another, they're going Chorus into Chorus us like every time. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're not going to complain about that. Yeah, oh, yeah, no, no, no yeah, complaints. Yeah. Mew EX definitely don't need that. And uh, yeah, Switch Cart, I guess you have another enough switching options in hand. So yeah, I think with the Super Rod, I think the only thing you're really missing here is Mirage Gate which you did not find, unfortunately. No, but we do have more card draw. We are not done yet. So flower select number oh, one finds a, a buddy, buddy buddy poffin. poffin. Don't need that. No, it looked like it was a pokey gear going to hand otherwise, yeah. which is fair. Yeah. Always want to be keeping our supporters up. Um, uh, no, actually, it was a Cramorant. I was a Cramorant. Yeah, and there's a, and there's a boss's orders in the hand as well. Can't you know, I don't, mind, I don't mind Cramorant here either. No, that's I know true. we can't use the boss's orders, but I don't mind Cramorant here no. just to take the to take a KO, take yeah. Jirachi and kind of just get the ball rolling, I guess. Yeah, especially because it is very unlikely that there won't be two targets for Radiant Greninja next turn. That Fluff Main can't evolve and is in Radiant Greninja range. So even if you know some of these Curlia do get evolved, you still have a very impactful turn next turn. Yeah, it's very unlikely all three of these are going to evolve. It's, it's unlikely we're going to see a Rolts yeah. into a Gardevoir because it would have to yes. go all the way. Oh, and then two nest. Curlia as well. Like oh. it, it, The deck list just doesn't allow for that. Here's a Nest Ball, though. You can put down Iron Hands, and it looks like that is what Christian's going to go for. Although, not, if you put it down this turn, it is vulnerable to maybe being knocked out if, you, if uh, Angelo can bring it up. There's no way to get it powered up this turn. Not currently. Not with the, the no Mirage Gates in the hand. No, I think there's maybe kind of a deck thinning exercise as well. The Lightning Energy is in hand, oh, so it we is. can attach that, switch into the Crammer, and take what? a knockout. Wait, was that? Am I am I blind? Is that a mirage gate in hand? Just hiding away? No, okay, so it's just gonna be spit no, no, innocently. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Um, I, I like this. Yeah, same. it's great. So get get started on the iron hands because you can. Uh, take a prize card and uh, yeah, nice and easy. Why not? Yeah. Cramorant weakening the board state of Angelo, yeah. taking away that Jirachi. Take that. Yeah, yeah, so, and then uh, Angelo with the Fluff Main in the active, uh, Cramorant can now no longer attack, actually. That is another ability that does get you know, negated uh, with that uh, Midnight mm -hmm. Fluttering. Any abilities in the opponent's active don't do anything, so. Ever so true, ever yeah. so true, but hey. 
Sable is going to be online soon. That's how that is true. Seven and Lost Zone currently. And with that Jirachi gone, those uh, Curlia and Rolts on the bench are looking like slim pickings for Lost Mine. Yeah, they are. Sable is licking its lips over there in the deck, waiting to pounce. But we're going to need a few more on the Lost Zone first. So onwards with Angelo's turn as we go for our next refinement, taking away an Arvin. We drew into an Eri and a God of War EX. So we can get going with the God of War okay. EX. We can evolve either of these. We can't wreck handy into it, I don't think, unless that's one. No, it's an ultra nope. ball. So no wreck handy into it. So we can't save this little Rolts potentially. It looks like we're going to ultra ball. Um, I don't know whether we're going for an, a sort of attacking Pokemon here, whether we're going to go for the Drifloon or a Screamtail. I feel like a Screamtail is nice here to be able to target the bench. I would like that because oh. you're turning off you're not turning off Cramorant if you do switch oh. into it, I suppose, but at least the Cramorant KOs back but isn't as ferocious and scary as, like, a ready Drifloon. No. But, I mean, if you want to go mega aggressive here, if you can get a damage or a HP buffing tool on the screen tail, you could actually put enough damage counters on it with the Psychic Embrace to get a KO on the Iron Hands. Or, or? if we're looking at the Iron Hands as the potential next threat, do we evolve into God of War EX and attack with God of War EX into this Cramorant? Right, so that it, although the Iron Hands is still there, you can't, you, you're forcing your opponent to have a Gusting card, essentially. And if you evolve both of these Curlia into God of War, at least you're limiting the damage that Radiant Greninja will be able to post. The threat yes. is lower. And also Iron Hands then only has one thing to pick off. It just has that Greninja. So I feel like limiting what, iron, what damage Iron Hands can do, but also then kind of bringing those God of War into play as valid attackers, especially seeing the Roaring mm. Moon in the Lost Zone. There's one disadvantage with that, though, which is that then if you do that, you're denying yourself your draw power. The, the, that Curlia, as well as being the thing that evolves into God of War, with that refinement ability, that's what lets you draw the extra cards to get yourself out of a late-game disruption situation. Very but, true. But it looks like you're absolutely on the money, Amy, so it looks like it's going to be God of War X in the active, free attached with Psychic Embrace, and it's going to be 190 for the knockout on a very, very very beefy Pokemon that, as we already mentioned, with uh, the Roaring Moon EX in the Lost Zone is going to be very hard for Christian to knock out. Absolutely. Unless that was an attach for turn on the Fluttermane. Um, it was. It was. Great. Cool. Yeah. So it is 60 damage to our God of War. Trying to keep some draw power by keeping a Curlia. Risking <laughs> The Greninja play, I, I feel it, it hurts, right? If the Greninja takes down your Curlia, you lose that card draw. Yes. But if you don't leave it in play and try to keep it there, then you lose your card draw anyway. So it's, it's a, it feels mm. like a lose-lose situation. I feel like another guard one might have been nice just because if they do target it down. Oh, Christian off the conceal guard cards draws two Mirage Gates. Two? Oh, we are boiling now. Here we go. And into the Col Res. Oh, that looks like a really tricky Col Res to me. Oh, uh, well, I mean, I mean, it's Spiritomb and Raikou, right? You don't really need any other mm -hmm. two prize attackers. I mean, Spiritomb's an easy one. There's uh, no the worries Raikou, about... The Raikou's a shame, but yeah, I think you're absolutely right there. Uh, you need the Switch cart. We've got Flower Selecting still to do. We've got nine in the Lost Zone now, so we only need one more to pump us over to 10, where we could see some Sableye action this turn. Yeah, well, we could, although, to be fair, I think uh, at this point, given that you're so close to getting that Greninja ready and going, you want to just do it at 90 twice, right? That's going to be... That's going to take out so. the Rolts and the Curlia, and it's going to put you so far ahead. Oh, and finds a Water Energy... Oh, we're going for one. Okay, yeah. so we're, we're almost there. So we need the attached for turn. Super Which Rod is, Mirage yeah. Gate. I think we're gaming. But, although it does look like actually... The, uh, so that was a bit of an awkward flower selecting because it was Super Rod and Water Energy. That means that two Super Rod are now gone. Oh, There's going to be another no. one gone now because you have to play it to get the Water Energy for, from earlier in the discard back. Ooh. It's probably fine, but maybe a little bit awkward. It's a good thing that um, this list plays uh, four. I mean, yeah, so there's still one more Super okay, Rod left after this. Um, Angelo will... Ima I imagine Angelo would have tried to track that in game yes. one so they know when Christian is out. Yes. But Super Odd gets back the Cramorant. Very good you know, to just take a cheeky, easy uh, single prize attack. Absolutely. And then the, getting back the Lightning and the Water Energy. The other Water's in hand, so it's going to be Mirage Gate to Water plus uh, probably could that be lightning. lightning. Yeah, on the Radiant Greninja. Could be Dark. It could be Dark, yeah. Don't need it anymore. <laughs> it's, Moon's gone. Yeah, it's uh, the only Dark Pokemon in the deck, so yeah, just uh, have it as discard fodder. If, if there's any left, uh, to be fair, there's a one, there's a wall, one Water in the prize, and I think the other Darks are in the... Oh, no, they're on the deck, so okay. There so, yeah. we are. 
and then we've got, just got the attached for turn. Yeah, save the lightning for the iron hands later. Yeah. <laughs> we've got the switch cart. We've got everything. We've got, we've got all. everything. <laughs> We're Gucci. And then uh, what are we thinking? We're thinking, yeah, it's got to be curling and rolls, yeah, surely. Yeah, yeah, there's, there's no universe in which it's not, because you don't really care about the flutter main that much anymore. You know, no. it, it, obviously it's a bit annoying that it means the Cramorant can't attack, yeah, but like, yeah, the, you can just lost mine. Yeah. Happy. Yeah. All good. So attach from hand, and then it's going to be a retreat or a switch cart if you want to keep the NG in play, which yeah. is going to happen. I feel like the NG in play is nice. It always gives you that pivot on that comfy later. Yeah, don't use the pivot if you don't need to. Exactly. So, so yeah, then, uh, and now, yeah, Radiant Ninja Moonlight Shuriken is going to undoubtedly get a KO on the Rolt and the Curlier, but Christian's just going to consider the last few moves before he does, wants yeah. to make sure he considers close every up hand, option though. possible. And it's going to be, oh, is that another less ball? Yeah, it must have been. So oh, no, it's like, yeah, I was using the Artisan. Yeah, yeah, that was the Artisan. I was just looking at the rest of the deck. It's really thin it and is. we're lacking Pokemon. <laughs> we, we are a little bit, but I think Christian has count. done this just about right. I think he has just enough to get him through the rest of this game. He's calculated it perfectly. Moonlight Shuriken KOs yeah. the Rolts and the Curlier, and Christian goes very far ahead in tempo now. Very, very far ahead. We're going to need to see if Angelo can keep up with one attacker in play, but also our energy engine. We can get some single prize attackers going, but there won't be a chance for another Gardevoir. So what are we going to do here? Do we need to load up Pokemon with energy kind of in advance, ready. What's the play? Well, I mean, you're in a bit of a bind here because you need to take out this Radiant Greninja, but you also need to take out these Iron Hands. Like, these are the two attackers that are going to see Christian through this game at this point because, you know, either if you want to put down something that can take a KO uh, on something that Christian has, especially the Iron Hands, you need to put down another Pokemon. But all of Angelo's attackers are very low in HP. We're talking things like Screamtail, we're talking Drifloon. Not only are they low on HP, but they have to do damage to themselves in order to get the big KOs anyway. So it's very, very tough for Angelo. Oh, Christian could be running away with this one in our game two of our Masters top four. Second game we've been able to feature. Yes. Second it, match. Love to see it. There is a counter catcher in Angelo's hand, so could you use that to maybe try and take out the Iron Hands, but still nothing on the field right now and they can actually do enough damage. No, we've got Luminous Cape, counter catcher, lost vacuum. No, it doesn't really do much here. Iono. I, mean, I mean, the Iono is vital. Disruption. We like that. We like that. Yeah, because, I mean, the last thing you want to do is give Christian more cards to have the chance to work towards those counters. So definitely mm -hmm. want to Iono uh, once you've established some kind of attacker. After that super odd, though, that Angela played, was able to get back another roll. So that's going to be good next turn. That can turn into a Curlia or even another Gardevoir if it, Christian's able to find a way to KO that. Although, having said that, I think with the Iron Hands and the, uh, or rather, with the Roaring Moon and the Raikou V gone, I think it a might actually be impossible for Angelo's or Christian to KO this uh, Guard Warrior X too beefy. Let's have a look how this Iono treats us. Oh, we got the Heroes King. Oh, that's that a big deal. could make the difference. Here we go. Might have to go on a Guard of War just to kind of keep the energy engine in play. I mean, maybe, but it goes back to what I was just saying, right? I don't think there's any physical way for Christian to KO this Guard of X. Not immediately, but I feel like if we scatter enough Sableye counters, which you're right, absolutely cannot be done right now unless Hyper Blur is used first, you could kind of scatter some on Guard of War. All of those left leftover pieces mm -hmm. you can scatter them on the Gardevoir and then do some knocking out yeah. in the in the long game yeah so very vitally Christian drew the last super rod off of this Iono so that was a pretty good Iono for him there is also yeah, a Mirage Gate in hand a switch card and I believe that last card was a lost vacuum so gonna try and build up the hand a little bit more first we're gonna see this first flower selecting and I can't quite really, see what uh, those are Oh, it's like, got rid of a because the lightning energy was kept. Oh, okay. Yeah, very, very important to find that. that uh, this Iron Hand is going to be one of the keys here. And this is the nice thing. And you can yep. use that Hyper Blower. Going for the Hyper Blower. Anything that Angelo puts up can be KO'd from an Ampy very much. I think that was crucial. The, yeah. the Hyper Blower felt like it needed to be detonated that turn just to force Gardevoir yeah. out of the active. And wait, hold on. Thinking about, thinking about it, with this uh, find of the Lightning Energy, you've got it. You've got the Super Rod. There's a Mirage Gate in hand. Ooh. You can Ampy very much. Oh, you can. But I think the Sableye is being debated at this point. <sighs> yeah, that would be the other option, yeah. So maybe you can kind of set up a double jeopardy situation. You get the Sableye down from this Artisan, you use the Super Rod to get the energy back, and then you put one on the Sableye uh, and then one on the Iron Hands so that you have the, uh, the Sableye sprinkling, but then you have the Iron Hands in the reserve, and then you almost set up a bit of a checkmate scenario. Yeah, I like that. I feel like I like the, the kind of getting them both set up. Like we say, there we go, mm -hmm. using the Mirage Gate and just kind of sharing okay. the love there. No, oh, both no. going on Iron Hands for now. Okay. I think maybe we're lacking the Psychic-type energy in deck like, of our to, 
honest. To be fair, this is like almost the other way around to do it, right? You can just take the KO now with Ampy very much. You've got the energy ready to go in hand. And then at any point, if Angelo... Yeah, yeah actually, this is, this is the problem now. Angelo can't bench anything no. that would KO the Iron Hands, oh, but right. also wouldn't just get instantly detonated by Lost Mine. And there That's we so go. Clever. Christian's down to the last prize card. And if Angelo takes a knockout here, even if it's the most miraculous knockout on Earth, I feel like Christian has all the answers. Even a Roxanne in hand now. Like, come on, just as Angelo would activate it. Yeah, I, I'm actually trying to think if there's any way for Angelo to KO this without bringing up something that would be KO'd either by Cramoran or by Sableye. I don't think there is. I think I think no. Christian actually set up the checkmate here. I think the Cramoran is the one that really gets me because the Sableye still needs the energy and if Angelo does have a way to disrupt, then that might be problematic. Mm -hmm. But I don't think it matters when you've got Cramoran that can attack for free. Yeah, and, and Flutamane wouldn't do any good either because then if you find the energy, that can still come into play. Um, with your, so you're bringing in the Curlier now. It, this is the one weakness that the Gardevoir archetype has now. You know, when in Gardevoirs of the past, you had the options of these really big, beefy attackers. You had the Shiny Arcana Gardevoir with a lot of HP. You had the Zacian V. Sure, mm -hmm. you had to do a lot of damage with them to, to attach with Psychic Embrace, but you still had ways to play around that. The way it goes now, you basically are forced to play these very low HP Pokemon that go e even lower lower on HP after Psychic Embrace because you need to do the damage to be able to do more damage to your opponent and that just leaves you so vulnerable to Sableye. You're so right, Freya. I couldn't set it better myself. We're going to go for the Scream Tail with the Hero's Cape. It's got to be it, right? I, and I know. And yeah, and I know. And I, I think that is the only way that they get away with this. I think that they could... I think Angelo could buy a turn with the Fluttermane because it does turn off Cramorant and I think when you're disrupting Christian down to one guard in hand and it's going to be really difficult to change that, I don't think you'd be able to get enough energy to put manually onto yeah. the Cramorant. But it's just going to be a attack with the Guard of Warrior X, 190. 190, but they can't take a return KO on no. that Guard of War yet. So. Yeah, not, not even Armpress um, will do it. So let's see what. in hand, I'm not sure. The that's two. How we're going. Okay, I don't think it's an instant win. Christian would have slammed it if he had it, so. I mean, there's a world in which you think about maybe retreating this Iron Hand that's got a retreat cost of four. You have got enough to do it if you want to. What are the two cards in hand? Are they are they cards that are going to matter in this instance? Are they ones that can get us out of a situation? Is it worth attacking with the Cramorant, or are we just going to wait for a little bit? I mean, Christian is so far ahead at this point. What, there's okay, no way for... Yeah, it's, it, he's really, really trying to hide it from us, isn't he? I really want to see them. Christian, please. And, uh, uh, I, I, I think Christian just went for the arm press. Yeah, just went for the arm press. I don't blame him. I think, honestly, that's fine. Uh, more damage on the card, while the better. Kind of, again, trying to like, yep. almost checkmate Angelo. Be like, there's so much damage on this that any of my Pokemon could eventually take yep. this out. And it would be a very different scenario if Christian was able, rather, if Angelo was able to, say, Professor Tura's scenario here, pick up this card of our KO his Iron Hands, because then Christian has no easy way to take a two-prize knockout. But Christian only has one prize left. He doesn't need to amp you very much to win. He can just take a very easy KO over Sableye or Cramorant, and that will seal him this game. Yeah, the Cramorant can knock out the Gardevoir from this point. It's got 220 damage on it, so the 110 from Cramorant's enough. Yeah, it, it's, it's enough for anything. The Gardevoir, the Curlier, the Screen Tail. Not enough for the Radiant Greninja. That would be the only thing that's short yes. uh, and Radiant, it can't yes. quite be KO'd by either Cramorant or Sableye. So and then Sableye can just pick things off on the bench. Yeah. So Because Radiant Jirachi, uh, sorry, yeah. Um, yeah just, just Jirachi. Regular Jirachi's <laughs> gone, so we can't rely on Jirachi right now unless we have some way of getting that back in the hand right now. Counter Catcher might be able to help us out, but yeah. I I don't really know. It, the Comfey are really easy to retreat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you I mean, you can't bring up Comfey or Cramorant or Sableye. You have to bring up Comfey, but it also doesn't feel great. You want to deal with this Iron Hands because it's also not great. Are you going to bring up the Cramorant? The Cramorant. Is, it's, wait, is the Fluttermane in hand? I don't think so. No, We've but got a Professor Turo scenario, which I think we're going to bring the God of War back. Oh. And then, oh! Oh, I see it. We're bringing the God of War back with the Turo, then putting another Rolt uh, Curlier forward. Oh, I was thinking the Curlier was going to go forward. We were going to attack with God of War there again, well, but a fresh one. Well, no, but I think, okay, the deal here, here is that Screamtail has 190 HP now at his Hero's Cape, so it's something that can take a hit from anything on Christian's side of the field. But Le not if you're doing damage to it so it can attack. No, so I think you're just being very careful. I think you're trying to like perfectly limit the amount of damage that you do. And with the two damage counters on it, you can actually KO a Comfey or a Sableye here. But the, the Iron Hands is still lingering on the bench. Uh, yeah, it is. And, uh, Although they're going for the knockout on the Iron Hands. Yeah, okay, yeah. That, oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. okay. I like that. That's what all works. Right, all right, all right. I'm, 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 I'm feeling this. It, it's a very marginal out, but it's the only out that Angelo can play to. Iron Hands knockout takes a prize. What does Christian find? Oh, that's mortifying. There's a, there's a buddy body for it. Well, it's not the win. Enough. It's not quite enough. 
Angelo might be able to scrape this together for you. Yeah, it's okay. There's the hand now. It's an artisan, a buddy buddy puffin, and another card which we can't quite see. It's oh, no. hiding. Oh, Chris, you can tell Christian's it. agonizing over this. I'm agonizing over this. Okay, so it's just a spit innocently. Yeah, yeah, it's got to be done. <gasps> so and now Angelo's going to take a knockout, oh, knockout here, gosh. and Christian has one more turn to find now. Angelo might have just found the very marginal out to find himself back into this game. And you know what? If at this point we retreat into the God of War, might be able to just carry on attacking for a while, might be able to disrupt that hand again. What do we got? Arvin. It's, a, it's, got, a, it's a loaded oh, hand. That is a good hand. Oh my gosh. A really game in here now i'm loving this the masters at work honestly this game is tight and if angelo wins we'll be going to a game three so if angelo manages to survive through this and this is some top level god of war gaming right now yeah it really is uh although talking about disruption i think you probably don't want to disrupt here you know that christian is not really drawing much of anything so yeah just set up yourself instead get the play that arvin you can look through to see what else you have access to and then you just with the fresh Gardevoir as well, yeah, that, that you have no worries uh, about uh, uh, getting KO'd easily. All of uh, Christian's attacking options that can KO a, a fresh Gardevoir EX are absolutely gone. Oh, it looks like it's, it's that luxurious cape and a super rod off the oven. That is going for the super rod first. Going to claw back a few resources. Maybe the Fluttermane is coming back because the Fluttermane will will stop the only attacker currently on the board. Angelo is hanging on by a thread, though. If Christian yeah. manages to get a Psychic Energy, it could start getting dicey. Retreat yeah. in then a Psychic Energy, and if you take out this Cramorant, and I feel like it's not what you want to do because actually you're going to turn off the Cramorant and then an Energy or, and a Switch are yeah. needed. You want to give Christian more to do yeah. to get to that win. Yeah, and I think uh, to almost to that exact point, I don't... F so it's, yeah, oh, it's actually a Super Rod uh, to, uh, to get the Flutter main back into the deck. Yep, Super uh, and, and the rolls. It. And Head now, and now yeah, yeah, get Flutter main going down uh, from the Artisan, and then... Ooh, there's a big charm in hand as well. A, a, a big charm? That's, that's not a legal card anymore. Not a big charm. It's... What's Bravery it charm. Bravery charm. <laughs> that's the one. It's a brave... Making that flood of main brave, we could. <laughs> yeah, uh, 90 HP, it's not quite enough, but... No. Oh, okay. No, we're not saying hello to that today. Yeah. I think at this point, you know that the there's nothing you can do really about the scream tail, for example. Mm -hmm. So there's not much value in trying to buff up the HP of things because there's already a thing that can be attacked with the sable eye in order to get a knockout. Yeah, that that sort of that ship has already sailed. So yeah. You know, you, so instead of going to discard it, and yeah, it's going to be a retreat scream tail into Fluttermain, and then it's going to be a, it's oh, okay. You can attack the Fluttermain, of course. Yeah, of course. Yeah. So yeah. that's why I was saying yeah, like, yeah, yeah. we don't we don't KO the Cramorant, but I like that because we're turning off the Cramorant's ability. We're doing bench damage as well as damage to an active Pokemon. Angelo needs two prize yeah. cards. So I don't like, I don't dislike this at all. Yeah, yeah, that Hex Hurl, 90 to the active and 20 to a bench. Uh, is, wait, so Angelo attaching four? Interesting. Oh, well, of course, with the luxurious Ooh. cape. And then on the Pokemon League, League headquarters. headquarters, okay. Oh, I that's, like this combo. That's so smart. So oh. attaching the extra energy so you can actually attack what under League headquarters whilst denying Christian the ability to attack as easily. So it's all going to go down, kind of going to come down to this top deck now from Christian. Can he find something to bail himself out of the situation? What does he find? Oh, it's, it's a, a Nespool. It's a Nespool. It's a Nespool. I don't know if that helps. For those who don't know what Pokemon League Headquarters does, it now means that all basic Pokemon need one extra energy to attack. So that's why we needed the extra energy on the Fluttermane, because it's a basic, but also the Sableye is now going to need two energy to attack. It doesn't even have one. Cramorant's ability does get around this, but Fluttermane is turning it off, yeah, which it is fantastic. So Angelo has completely pushed Christian into a corner, even though he only has one prize card left to take. Yeah, Buddy Buddy Puffin being played now. Christian didn't opt to play it before, and I think it's with the knowledge that there's not, not much of anything left in deck that he could even search with it. There is one more Comfe in there, but do you even want to bring that out at this point? I mean, I guess it does thin the deck by one, but it doesn't feel amazing. There's another buddy, buddy puffin for good measure too. I feel like we need to pin the deck here because we are living in Top Deck City and it is not a nice day right now. Living in Top Top Deck City where the draws are rough and the moves ain't pretty. Right, exactly. <laughs> Honestly, it's not a good feeling for Christian right now. It really does feel like it's on a wire. I love how Angelo's brought this yeah. back. This is the power of God of War right now. And if Christian can't find the out this turn, I believe Angelo has the counter catcher ready to go. So can just bring up anything. Hex Hill, 20, and uh, yeah, there it is. Here boss's it is orders. The boss right away for that comfy. Here we go. 
Hexhill with a double knockout, 90 to the active and 20 to the bench, finishing off that Cramoran. And Angelo finds a way in such a rough matchup to win game two. And we're going on to game three. We are so whooping in on game three. Angelo taking that clutch position, not going down without fight. No, absolutely not. Showing his metal and showing how Gardevoir, even against a slightly unfavored matchup, can still pull it together with such smart plays as well. But it was a very marginal line of victory that Angelo could have taken, but he played to his out and it paid off. I know, and really backed Christian into a corner. Mm -hmm. Like, absolutely down to the last prize card and went, OK, I'm going to increase your energy cost. I'm going to turn your abilities off. I'm going to back you into a corner. You're low on resources. This is how I win. And it works. It yeah. works. That worked so beautifully. Gardevoir used to be so aggressive, but I feel like this kind of slightly more passive play style from Gardevoir is how we might look to reliably defeat Lost Box in the future. Yeah, I think so. And especially recognizing you know, early on, like you also mentioned, attacking with the Gardevoir reacts, something very big, and recognizing that the Roaring Moon was not an option. So that Gardevoir reacts was very safe for being knocked out, recognizing that the Raikou V was gone. There was, these are correct decisions that Christian made at the time to dig for what he needed to dig for, but it left an opening that Angelo was able to exploit. And I love that. I love that Angelo was like, okay, brilliant, excellent. I, I am I am grooving with this. This is great. There were definitely some difficult flower selectings in there for Christian, but Angelo just made use of every difficult decision that Christian was handed. Yeah. Now, let's see what quite goes on here. As we do see, you've also get Christian putting the price cards on the wrong side. It's so easy to do when you're on stream. You're just so, so not used to it. And game one, they did. They, they yeah. were on the table, yeah. so it's uh, <laughs> changing over sides halfway through your best of three as well. But we have plenty of time to see this out. 20 minutes left, and we're going to see one of these two titans into our finals very soon. Yeah, one of these two will be going up against Kim Pobega to compete for the title of the Bologna Special Event Champion, the last special event title available here in Europe. And that in itself is pretty special. Yeah, it really, really is. So going into the game for you, Amy, what are you thinking in terms of who, who do you think has uh, got the edge? We, I know we, we were saying that uh, the Lost Box deck is favored, but having just seen what we've seen in game two, does that change your perspective at all? It absolutely does. I've seen Angelo's plays now. Mm. I like the spicy text. I adore the stadium edition, and I think Angelo has got this. I feel like Angelo's the one. I feel like their first accolade could be winning this whole thing. Well, there we go. We will see who is able to do it in this game three as we do kick off with Christian going first and starting off with a flower selecting to a quick draw uh, to the prizes as well uh, again so just didn't get a chance to do it there was the airy and the professor tourist scenario in the prizes for Angelo that is quite awkward and one of the guard of our is to an account catcher that's mm, that's rough it's not the best no. it's not the very best but I'm sure that he will re manage those resources just perfectly like the first game but uh, an attached pass can Angelo get a first turn knockout on this company no I don't think so right uh, I, a guard of was an awkward one unfortunately is the one again once again one of those decks where where you need to set up Pokemon. There's nothing that really attacks no. one energy, and that's all you're going to be able to attach. So, sadly, uh, Angelo won't be able to exploit um, an attach pass. Uh, we uh, are going to be continuing with the to game. To be fair, Screamtail does do 30 for one energy, but that's not enough. That is not enough. <laughs> That is not enough, to, and it's not worth screaming about. No, Maya, no, it's so, really, it's uh, really. <laughs> we, we, we don't, we don't endorse that kind of no. scream. Womp womp. <laughs> <laughs> but no, honestly, we, uh, we will be seeing this game through. I'm very excited. I imagine Christian had some other cards in hand that are worth it, but right now we can't see that hand because we are focusing hard on, uh, on what Angelo's got going on, which is an oven for a technical machine evolution, a nest ball, but nest balling for the Fluttermain. Is Fluttermain gonna? Lock this comfy right at the beginning of the game, preventing it from using flower selecting. I so I didn't get a good look at Christian's hand, but it can it happen. Does, it's it, an attached retreat. You know, it, it, it's so if if this is the case. Christian Ooh, could be in a big spot of bother here. Like, what else in the hand? hand? Okay, there's a call oh, rest. Okay, okay. We're, we're grooving. We're yeah, grooving. There, yeah, there is something. We're not for that. Like, Angelo might have just been able to win the game there and then and there, but uh, I was no, sweating. No, Christian uh, just uh, with the with the uh, the chorus experiment there, but now with a little bit of an awkward uh, mm. chorus experiment here. Definitely wants to keep that iron hands, but we also want to keep the forest seal stone. There's a Raikou V in hand that you can bench. We um, maybe could take the Raikou and the forest seal stone, but then we're not going to be able to take iron hands. It's oh. out. It's out. It's, it's out. out. Forget about it. <laughs> Gone. Didn't work last time. That, out. That, that surprises me, honestly, because although it didn't quite work out last time, having the option to get a two prize knockout on the single prize things, I, I, that seems like the sort of thing you wouldn't want to give up. Single prize Pokemon with low HP because they have to do damage to themselves, like you assessed earlier. Yeah. 
really strong, really easy. Does take a lot of energy, though. And if we're looking into for things like Pokemon League headquarters, mm. being in the deck, now that Christian absolutely knows that that's there, I wonder whether that's what maybe changed Christian mi Christian's yeah. mind and thought, OK, I might need to attach more energy to a Pokemon than and, necessary. And actually thinking about it, I think something else that informed that decision, that first flower selecting was a, a, a lightning energy in the Lost Zone. So actually, so Christian is opting to not even bother with lightning. All the lightning energy that Christian plays are now in the Lost Zone. So now, yeah, Ampy very much is irrelevant anyway, so might as well put it in the Lost Zone. But this does now mean that the Raikou V also can't attack. But it's probably not something you want to mention in this matchup anyway, to be fair. No, no, but... Uh... Like you said, I, to oh, be honest, have to know. I, I'm, I'm thinking that it's the Raikou Forest Seal Stone still. I, I still think that was the right call off the Coral Res, and I think that it might need to be utilized right now because the hand isn't looking too yeah. pretty oh. when we don't have flower selecting. Oh, also, to be fair, I just realized something. Raikou V is literally the only V Pokemon in the deck, so you have to bench it if you want to use Forest Seal Stone. Exactly. Even, yeah, yeah, they are a combo that goes together. Yeah. We're going to need to take them together or not at all, and I think out of that Coral Res, they were the best choices, especially when we have our abilities yeah. turned off right now. So what that means is now Raikou is turn from an attacker into a thing that has search your, t your deck for a card once per game and then when it's in the active draw a card every now and then. But only if Fluttermane isn't also in the active. <laughs> that too, yeah. <laughs> only. Um, but currently Fluttermane isn't in the active so we're finally able to use that flower selecting as well. So we're co drawing a couple of cards and that is... That, that's enough for Christian right now. I couldn't, can't see what that is. Is that Greninja? Yeah, yeah. That was so. so Forest Seal Stone, uh, Star Alchemy got fired off, and Christian went for that Greninja straight away. Um, it looks like oh, there might be a bit of a discussion going on from the judges. So we'll get, we'll get word on that in a little bit. It looks like there's some kind of discussion going on. Oh, I think it was just a, a perhaps a misshuffle. Ah, uh, I yeah. see. That's okay. We yeah. might we uh, we'll, we'll wait on that. That's a okay. But for now, uh, just looking at the board state, it's not looking too dandy for either player right now. Angelo's mm. there with one roll, which isn't too comfortable. But I loved the Fluttermane to close off, uh, shutting off that comfort, and then the um, the the Hyper Blower to force the Fluttermane out of the active. Yeah, very clever. Genius. Genius use of Iron Bundle there. Yeah, so Radiant Greninja does come down now, and you can conceal cards. Uh, you get one Dark Energy in the discard pile, draw two cards, try to find something else. So you got four in the Lost Zone already, so actually, you, uh, uh, Christian is digging for a Cramorant here. If you find a Cramorant, you can just knock out this Rolls, and then you're really far ahead again. Yeah, then we are we are gaming. We do not mind one little bit. Oh. Okay, retreating. Yep, an extra card. Finds the Artisan! Fun. That's more like it. Let's keep going. <laughs> Raikou V saves the day with Fleet Footed, finding the Artisan, which can now get the Cramorant, which... Oh, or maybe not the Cramorant? No, I think uh, I think it's solidifying a board state, realizing that Angelo's going to have to put a lot of work in to make a kind of meaningful attack next turn. I think just continuing to to flourish that loss zone out and just kind of pack it out a little bit more before ending turn. I don't, I don't mind that at all. And we Actually, have, we have the ability to kind of continue with these uh, flower selectings. Wait, no, hold on. I think Christian's going for broke here. If you get one more in the Lost Zone, you had the Lost Vacuum in the hand, you can get rid of the Art Zone. I think you actually just win the game. Oh, Hold on, is the Mirage Gate in hand? Yeah, because the Mirage Gate in hand. Genius, we're going, we're gaming, we're six. One more, one more, one more. The, the, the Walt's in hand, Christian's got no, the game. There's the Mirage Gate. There's a number one, two. two. That's it. The, 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 the Walt's in hand. Christian takes the game free win, and he's going to the finals. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> What a mind-blowing turn from Christian in that game three! Unbelievable! Greninja proving that you should never underestimate a ninja. Absolutely decimating with the Moonlight Shuriken taking out the 